Hello Riven mains and Yasuo mains alike, I am the Nightwing, Way of Life Esports, coming at you guys with another League of Legends video. So, with Worlds Group Day upon us, this is where the Mighty are going to be tested, and this is where everybody's pickums are going to be initially destroyed. Let's go over, and let's see if Fnatic and Clutch can play spoiler to RNG and SK Telecom T1. All right, so it's been a while since I was actually able to give you guys these day-to-day -day predictions because every when I was trying to do them so much, uh, like a couple months ago, I was just super busy with work and a lot of other stuff, and a lot of people actually didn't like that I would keep my house dark when I do these things. I'm not really gonna traditionally do this with the lights on because I don't normally um, have the lights on when I do a video it's just like I don't want to waste the electricity and rise up my bill but this is a special occasion since obviously this is worlds 2019 official worlds plans as worlds to a certain extent but today we have a bunch of stacked matches and since it's being held in Europe you guys know every time worlds is held somewhere Fnatic play first Fnatic played first back in worlds 2015 against IG that's when they had Huni, Rain over yellow star yeah the fanatic squad that went 18 and 0 and and then after that at msi 2018 they got a chance to play first and then they well they obviously lost in the you know the fans were extremely mad but and then now we're third time's a charm fanatic are going to be able to obviously play first and they have the biggest task of the day which is taking down sk telecom t1 now this is going to be a really really hard match for them let's not be uh you know <laughs> such a hard match for them man but this is the thing is that g2 were able to take down skt in two best of ones at msi and can Fnatic take down skt this is the thing is that if Fnatic don't beat them right now i don't feel like they're going to be able to beat them that much later on because i feel like as the tournament gets uh, a lot more underway skt just gets a lot better and i feel like if you want to secure at least a tiebreaker scenario with skt fanatic are going to have to beat skt right now on this day they want to get the crowd behind them they want to obviously get that momentum going and i think you have to beat them now now you have to look at the matches going forward the biggest marquee matchup of the day in my own, per own personal opinion is faker versus nemesis this is going to give a big test to nemesis if he can handle faker because beer Erickson couldn't handle him, Caps couldn't handle him, most people thrown at, at him just couldn't handle him. Jensen repeatedly has never been able to even get even a lane lead against him. So Perks, as obviously one of the uh, best mid laners that, uh, that was a mid laner in EU, obviously was able to get Faker a matchup at the MSI 2017 finals. But other than that, there really hasn't been anybody that's been really able to stand up to him. And if Nemesis can hold his own against Faker, maybe not exactly try to beat him 1v1, maybe he obviously uses his TF pick to roam around the map, then I feel like they can effectively beat SKT. And I feel like if they don't beat SKT right now, they're not going to beat them later on. So right now, I'm going to say Fnatic are going to win. But I mean, if if SKT obviously beat them, then it's not even even a surprise. They are the tournament favorites, and they are people that are obviously so good at the game right now that, you know, even if they are making mistakes, it's just Fnatic are a good enough team to capitalize it. And I feel like Fnatic are a, a team that nobody's going to expect to win against SKT. So I'm going to say Fnatic are going to win right now and actually get Fnatic on the board with 1-0. and zero. SKT starting off 0-1. Hey, it happened at MSI, so, uh, who, hey, deja vu, you know, two times the charm on the uh, EU squads. We know the EU squads are really strong, and we know that if anybody could take them in, in a group, we know the EU squads could do it. And uh, Reckless is going to have a field day, uh, obviously, with Teddy. It's going to be a really hard task to uh, hold off SKT, but let's see if Fnatic can actually do it. And I believe Fnatic will have a chance of taking on SKT today. Fnatic, I got taken SK Telecom T1. Royal, never give up versus Clutch Gaming. If Royal don't beat Clutch right now, 
I'm going to literally go outside and start smoking crack and lick the concrete while I do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. But honestly, yes, uh, clutch to even be RNG, have an even bigger hurdle, hurdle to go over than obviously RNG do because clutch have significantly weaker players in every single role, maybe outside of top lane. And with that being said, Karsa is better than his opposition. So is Xiaohu and the bot lane is so much better than clutch's bot lane. What clutch need to do is clutch need to play that fast paced rift herald 10 minute rift herald you guys know and love they got to get their early game leads against rng because if you attack the bot lane they can beat rng do i think they're smart enough to efficiently attack the bot lane absolutely not and i got rng taking this matchup right now one to zero over clutch ig versus hq i feel like this will be a good matchup versus ig and obviously we know they're going to end up beating hq given the fact that we saw how hq played against j team in the finals i I highly recommend you guys go watch that and if you can't watch it obviously in uh, a native tongue like english or uh you watch it in europe in uh europe just uh play it with with, with like subtitles you actually understand how how decent j team is and how much kind of not so good hq is i think ig if you want to get some momentum and get your players back running this is the match you need to you need to win and i'm gonna have ig actually taking it one and zero. Oh yeah everybody on the left side is taking the games today. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next game is Dam One versus TL, and this is going to be a hard matchup for TL as well. Remember, TL coming into this matchup is okay. So let let me get this straight. They lost they lost to um King Zone zero two in twenty eighteen. They lost to KT Rolster twice. So that's zero four. They lost to SKT two times so that's zero six they are zero six up against korean teams is this the is this the obvious game where they break their curse of facing these korean teams i think that damn one's bot lane is going to get exploited in this game and i feel like double if is going to come out swinging this game with core jj Yes, Naguri, Showmaker, and Canyon are stronger as a topside uh, opposition than TL's, but I feel like Damwon have not been tested yet, and I feel like TL is the team that can do that for them right now. Jensen is is not going to get taken over by Showmaker. I don't, I don't care what nobody says. Then you also have Naguri and Impact. Impact is a solid, good enough top laner to actually not get exploited by Naguri. Then you have Canyon versus x -Mithy. I mean, x is the weakest player on TL, actually. So, Canyon is going to have a field day with them. And I feel like Canyon will, will be a deciding factor in as to the reason why that, um, you know, TL would actually lose. It's not more, more or less so the solo lanes. It's more or less so the jungle difference between the two junglers that make up the actual difference. And I, and I actually am going to go with uh, TL in this matchup. I feel like that the bot lane difference, they'll attack the bot lane and they'll exploit the bot lane to the point where they're not going to be a relevant factor. But I do feel like it's going to be very, very close because of Naguri, Showmaker, and Canyon. But I'm going to give this one to TL. And if TL want to actually make sure they even get a chance at getting out of this group, they're going to have to win this game because the second time they play around it's uh, i'm not even going to predict them because we have it's a very very kind of weird thing with worlds is that the team that's not supposed to win usually wins and then the team that's supposed to win usually wins the second time around that's kind of just a recurring theme i've always kind of seen with these kind of things so right now if tl1 want to make sure they, they at least get a win on the board you gotta beat damn one remember you have to beat damn one in order to even be second or first out of the group and this is a, a team people have very very highly coming in they have them at least seventh or at least six coming into the world championship so yeah tl you gotta win here i'm gonna predict i'm gonna predict tl but like i said before these are best of one so anything can happen literally damn one could just come in there and just start fisting double if right in his asshole you know things happen obviously all right so the last day part chunk of the group is cbtc bbc cock j team versus fun plus phoenix I love you, Fofo. I really do. But, you know, you're you facing off against Fun Plus. And what's really funny is that we saw the Chinese teams face the LMS teams at Rift Rivals just like almost two months ago. And they got absolutely 100%. I, and I mean, you know, when I say fisted, I mean fisted, like your entire fist going down their throat. Yeah, Fun Plus, I don't even have to predict matchups to know they're going to lose this round. But I do feel like J Team has a shot against uh, Fun Plus because if you get Fofo on a carry and get him, and get him on a roaming mid laner that can deal a lot of damage, like that has a lot of scaling. I feel like the team has something good about them. The reason why I'm only saying Fofo is because I don't really know anybody else on the team. 
I, I did watch the finals of the LMS when they had it on their page, and they probably still have the matchup on their page, but, well, this LOL L- Esports page that I'm on right now, but I just don't think that Fun Plus is bad enough to be exploited by this team, and I do feel like this is one of the more weaker groups of the tournament. With that being said, there are literal, there's literally three teams that are not even top eight, and Fun Plus are facing three non-top eight teams. Hey, that, that, that's just how it is coming in. Fun Plus Phoenix is going to win this easily. I'm giving it to Fun Plus. And then the last match of the day is Gam Esports versus Splice. So I'm not too high on Splice. And I do have Gam coming out of the group at second because I don't feel like Splice is that strong. And I do feel like even if they do manage to get out of the group as a second seed, I don't feel like they're that exact. They're like strong at that much at all they struggle in the mid game super hard they struggle super hard at doing anything but gam only really gets anywhere if they're mid and um well the jungler uh levi get anywhere too so i feel like they're past that cheese phase they're actually playing you know solidified comps but this is a match in which where gam could come out start swinging and i feel like gam's play style from what i saw in those vcs vods that I feel like Gam as a team is just a kryptonite to supplies. And I'm going to give this one to Gigabyte Marines or Gam Esports. So, yes, uh, that's the day one predictions for Worlds 2019. Let me know who you, in the comment section below who you think are going to take these games. If you think I'm just full of shit and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, go ahead and tell me that too. I'm not going to listen. I'm, I'm going to delete your comment. But it's nice to hear I got some haters out there. So to round this all up, I got Fnatic winning this one. I have RNG winning. I have IG winning. I have TL winning. I have uh, Fun Plus Phoenix winning. And I have Gigabyte Marines, Gammy Sports winning, obviously, as well. Obviously, you know, looking at these really, really strong teams from Worlds, this is basically a coin flip uh, meta BO1 that we've ever been in in a World situation. Any of these teams can win. I could literally see Clutch beating RNG. Clutch is not going to be Fnatic, but but Clutch will not be SKT. But looking at the style of the Clutch play, there's a theoretical chance they could be RNG. Because last year, Fnatic beat... R- uh, not, not not last year. Yeah, last year, Cloud9 beat RNG. And they almost beat them again in their tiebreaker game. And remember, TL did beat RNG too. So it's not highly improbable that Clutch can beat them too. It's just like, Cloud9's players are better. So are TL's. And it's like, you got... Well, you have Demonte versus Shahu. And then you have Karsa playing up against Lyra. Like... The actual difference is so big that it's like, we'll have to see. We'll have to see if Clutch actually improved because the playing stage, hopefully, hopefully losing to Unicorns of Love actually made Clutch better. But I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I'm the Nightwing. Way of Life Esports is signing out. Let me know your picks down below. Who's going to take today and obviously start their group stage off 1-0. and zero. And I'll be back tomorrow to preview the day 2 for Worlds 2019. See you guys later. Hi you guys, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff.